After many, many leaks, The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion has finally officially been announced. And we are going to go over all of the features right now. For whatever reason, this expansion pack, every detail of it had been leaked before the official reveal. I did not cover a lot of the leaks. I did cover some of them, but not all of them in their entirety because I personally just did not want to be spoiled on the entire expansion pack. This expansion pack has been leaked more than any other expansion pack that I've really ever seen in The Sims 4. Just about every detail of it was leaked before the official announcement. Why this specific pack was leaked to the extent it was, I'm not really sure, but I know I myself did not want to be completely spoiled on this pack, so I did stay away from a lot of the new information until I could see the official trailer myself. But with that said, I'm going to go into our brand new blog post detailing everything about our new expansion pack. It reads, it's time to open your heart to romance in the beautiful world, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I know I will not be able to. <laughs> Go on swoon-worthy dates in the neighborhood. Your sims will be able to hunt for the best spot to try the romantic blanket in the city's garden. Dance until morning at their favorite nightclub or even experience the beautiful simplicity of sitting together to watch the stars. In the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack, players can create their Sims dating profile on the Cupid's Corner app and match with other Sims. Players will determine how to navigate the dating scene, find out what other Sims turn ons and turn offs are, and then cater to them. Learn how to become a romance consultant and so much more. It's time to meet your match and experience romance like never before. I am so happy with this expansion pack, you guys. It's pretty much everything I wanted out of it. I am thrilled to see that sim turn-ons and turn-offs are here, which reminds me of the chemistry system back from The Sims 2 days which we desperately need. I'm going to have so much fun with this expansion pack and I'm actually gonna go as far as to say that this is probably a must have one, depending on your play style, of course. In this next part of the article, we get a ton of more information about our new world. It will include three neighborhoods in the world and it just sounds lovely. From the little bit we saw in the trailer of it as well, it just looked simply gorgeous. So I am really excited to go in and explore this new world. This part of the blog greatly intrigued me. As Sims explore these neighborhoods designed with love, they will also discover a new singles hangout lot trait that will attract available Sims who are single and ready to mingle. I love that so much because I normally have my Sim go out to these nightclubs just to find potential love interests, especially when I'm doing a legacy playthrough. It's very important to find single Sims for that. So I love this so much. It really kind of makes things a little bit easier in your gameplay. And plus it just makes it so much more fun. And here we get a lot more information on Cupid's Corner app. It reads, struggling to find a partner? Open the Cupid's Corner app to find your perfect mat. With the Cupid's Corner app, Sims will find a variety of matches that will make their heart flutter. With the new date planning system, players will choose where to go and what to do, crafting a unique date that will leave your Sim wanting more. When using Cupid's Corner, Sims can snap a selfie and create a profile by setting preferences to find Sims who are romantically available. Potential partners will show up in the matches tab and your Sim can hit the heart to add their faves to saves. Once saved, Sims can add their love interest to their contacts and start up a conversation. Whether meeting for the first time or setting up a sweet anniversary date, matching and dating in all its forms is now supported with custom ask to create a date feature that make for ideal date scenarios. These features allow players to customize their date by picking a date type, 
picking a venue, optionally inviting more Sims, and selecting the activities and goals for the day. This seems extremely heavily involved, but I love it and feel that the game really, really needed this. I love that I can plan their date from beginning to end. That just sounds like so much fun to me. I am just so excited for this pack. I don't think I've been this excited for a Sims expansion since growing together. I was so excited for that one, but this one is rivaling that one. Once on a date, Sims can connect through playing games, chatting on a picnic blanket, sharing food, cuddling in heart-shaped beds, or by stargazing up at the night sky. To add a little spice to the mix, new romantic interactions include a new kiss, a sultry dance, and three new woohoo spots. I love this. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to try out all of this. It's going to be so much fun. Romantic dynamics will develop between Sims as a reflection of the type of romantic relationship they have together. There are four different dynamics. Wholesome, steamy, strained, and unpredictable. Wholesome refers to two Sims who genuinely love each other and show it through their actions, both friendly and romantic. Steamy dynamics refer to Sims' relationship being focused on physical intimacy. Strained dynamics refers to two Sims that are still romantically entwined, but are genuinely unhappy with each other and treat each other unkindly. Unpredictable dynamics refers to sims that go back and forth between fighters and lovers. They may fight one second, but kiss and make up the neck. All of these sound like so much fun. I cannot wait to play through each and every single one of these to see how it affects your sim couple. Sims will develop and grow their romance skill as they continue to socialize, unlocking new interactions like a steamy makeout session or a neck kiss. They'll even learn how to to emotionally connect with a partner or scan the room for potential sims open to romance. I miss that so much. In The Sims 2, scan the room for potential sims was a feature that it had and I loved that feature so much because it's like my sim could tell me who they wanted to be involved with and I didn't have to pick the sim out for them. And I loved that. I'm so happy to see that that is making a return. And here it goes over all about the attraction and compatibility of two Sims. This looks extremely involved and I love it. It's going to be based off of traits, clothing, hairstyles, even certain interactions will apply to different attraction and compatibility. I just love this feature so much. I really can't say enough about it. This has been missing from The Sims 4 for a long time. It's like that missing piece that The Sims really needed to make the game feel more complete. And of course, we have new aspirations as well. For any Sim with romantic aspirations, romance is a way of life. With the Paragon Partner and Romantic Explorer aspirations, Sims will have many paths to discovering love and connection. Romance isn't just an aspiration. With two new traits, Sims will have more ways to define who they are and how they love. Romantically reserved Sims will need just a bit more time to get to know their partners. It may take longer to find romantic connections, but the foundations will be worth it. For Sims that are love bugs, romance is everything. They long for love and dive in head first. Love may come on quickly, leading to much faster romantic relationships, and as a result, they may be met with unrequited love should their romantic advances fail. Two new fears have also been added. The fear of intimacy and the fear of being alone. I love this so much. This expansion feels like it's really going to give depth to the Sims that it just desperately needs. Your Sim can also become a romance consultant. So in The Sims 2, we had the NPC of the matchmaker, but it looks like in this version, you get to become the matchmaker if you wish. And I love it. This is a career and you will be able to progress through it just like any other job. And you may even find some cute heart-shaped rewards in their inventories for doing it. I 
Love it. This expansion pack feels like it was just made for me. This part here is very, very interesting. Free for all players is the new romantic boundary system that will allow you to customize your Sims experience with boundaries and jealousy. You can now define how your Sims approach romantic relationships in terms of physical and emotional romantic exclusivity. This allows for Sims to date multiple Sims without impact to other relationships. And it does seem that this portion, the romantic boundary system, is a base game update as it says it is free for all players. I know that there are a lot of people that have been wanting this in the base game of The Sims and it is being delivered. We will be getting this. This should make some very interesting storylines for your gameplay. And if you purchased the Love Struck expansion pack from June 27th to September 5th, you will have access to our Heartbreak Happens digital content. To embrace a little heartache with Cry Me a River eyeliner, the new Herbert Heart plushie, and start your single life with the basic breakup double bed. Pre-order The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack now to start playing immediately when it launches on July 25th. So we are still a little under a month away from this expansion pack, but I am so excited for it. This is really everything I was hoping it would be. It looks fantastic. I'm so thrilled with this. Let me know down below in the comments what you're thinking of this expansion pack and if you plan on buying it. I will be pre-ordering this one as soon as I am able to, but sadly I will be going on vacation just a few days after this releases, so my time with this expansion will be very limited sadly, but I am still very excited for it. I also wanted to go over some other news. If you had any issues with the happy at home login event like I myself did of it not showing up, that should have been resolved back on June 14th and should be available for everyone. Just want to make sure that everybody knows that the event is still ongoing and you still have another week to get everything listed on the happy at home event. Personally, I hope they do not continue doing events like this because I don't always have time to log into my game to claim my reward and I would hate to miss out on a reward that I wanted and I know a lot of other players feel a similar way so I do hope that they do not do these events any longer. I'm hoping this was just a test to see if players would like it or not and of course if you do not know this is the happy at home event. These are all of the items that you will receive as long as you keep logging into the game and claiming them. In more sim news the sims discord has hit 50,000 members to celebrate the sims is giving away 50 expansion codes so if you're interested in that make sure you go and check that out however in more news and this one not being that great it is not sim news but is in the life simulation genre so i did want to cover this because i have briefly covered life by you in the past so i did want to inform people of this one unfortunately on june 17th Life by You was canceled. This was a game that I had covered on this channel and it has been in production for quite a while now, but sadly Paradox Interactive has canceled this game. In their statement on the cancellation, they say, sadly, we've decided to cancel the release of our long awaited life sim, Life by You. This was an incredibly difficult call to make and is a clear failure on Paradox's part to meet both our own and the community's expectations. We realize this raises some large questions. Life by You has been in the works for a long time and we've been very excited about the promise and the potential of this game. Our hope was always that it would be able to leave a mark in this exciting and new genre for us. That's why we've opted to delay it twice, to give the studio and the game a fair shot at realizing the potential we saw. For each delay we made, we've seen incremental improvement, which in hindsight 
may well have led us to focus on detail rather than the whole picture. The statement goes on, but at the end of the day, this game was canceled. Now, I am a gamer and I have seen my share of canceled games, but I've never seen a game canceled quite like this one. This was by far the most shocking cancellation I've really ever seen. They were posting videos every week on this game. There was so much information and we were very close to an early access release. And for it to be canceled just before this early access is just really shocking to me. And I really feel for the developers that were working on this and the entire team. It's really disappointing to me to see that this was canceled no matter what the reason was for. I do hope that everybody that worked on this game does find clearer and brighter paths in their future. But it is very sad to me to see a life sim game canceled. And in other news, that is The Sims, but on the sadder side as well, we have this post on the official Sims forums. Friday highlights the best of a look back on The Sims forums. If you do not know, The Sims forums will be shutting down soon and everybody will be migrating over to the EA forums. These forums have been here for a very long time. I've pretty much been here since they've been made. So it's very sad to see this shutting down. But the post reads, Happy Friday and welcome to this very special edition of our Friday highlights. Today, we'll be soaking in all the nostalgia by highlighting some of the most notable discussion created over the years. And while I think every single post on these forums is worthy of a highlight, I did have to narrow it down just a tad. So instead, we'll be focusing on some of the most popular, most viewed, and oldest discussions, along with a few staff favorite sections. I highly encourage you to go check out this post and see some of the best that these forums had to offer. It's an amazing community and I really hope the community flourishes into this new move to brand new form. But it is very sad to see these go down. One user did ask, does this mean we will be on the new forum next week? EA Cade responded, not that soon. I'll have more to share next week, hopefully. So we're not entirely sure when we are moving to the new forum, but it is happening. I'll keep you guys up today as soon as we know more on this. But that is it. That is your news roundup of the day. Let me know your thoughts down below. I personally am so excited for this new expansion pack. It's exactly what I wanted. It totally fits my play style. I'm so excited. But that is all I have for this video. I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.